So now we're going to do this cute little one minute butterfly. It's a rainbow butterfly. And then at the end we're going to turn it into the party butterfly that we do that, that takes it beyond one minute. Uh, for this particular butterfly you need a rainbow pot with a rainbow sponge. You need black, glitter, and a water spritzer. And then to turn it into the party um, version of the butterfly we're going to need white but we'll use that afterwards okay so what you do first is you want a lot of water on this split cake this sponge will soak up a lot of paint and a lot of water so spray both of them you're gonna make sure that you lay the uh, sponge the same colors as you had before otherwise they get muddy and brown and you want to pull it across two or three times until you get nice brilliant colors like that okay and then we're going to pinch it kind of where this is smaller and this is bigger. It's usually right after that green section, but somebody, you know, your pot may be different, but it's, it's a little larger on the top and a little smaller on the bottom, so not quite halfway. This is going to be your top of your wing and this is going to be the bottom. Now you want to lay this, the top part of this sponge at an angle at about one o'clock if you're looking at a, at a uh, clock, okay, so that it's angled this way. And that's the top wing, and it's a nice triangle. And then you're going to lay this bottom part, the blue and the purple, um, at about 4 o'clock. And the pinch is going to end up being right here on this point. Okay, so there you have it. And, and you're going to stipple, which is just up and down, up and down, pressing it into your skin. Okay, that way you have two nice triangles at a nice angle. And if you get any overflow like I have, you can just take a wipe and, and just wipe it right off. And then you want to make sure you put some glitter on there. Glitter is always a girly favorite. While it's wet, if it dries, it won't stick. But if you do it right after you sponge, it'll stick forever. Okay? Well, maybe not forever. Okay, so now we're going to be using our black, and we're just going to be loading it normally where you have a nice, smooth barrel of paint. Just normal, not excessive and then I like to run my brush across the edge of my pot so that I get a nice flat edge to start with. I'm going to make his body first and this is basically a curved teardrop. I'm going to start up here a little bit above halfway and I want to make sure the curve of his body hits the butterfly wings at the middle point right here. So I'm going to start up here and I'm going to start lifting my brush up and curving it around and coming to a point for his body. Okay, just as simple as can be. And now we're going to do the top wing. I'm just going to outline it. I'm going to start with a thin brush. I'm going to go to thick around the wing and come back around and make a nice, I call this a question mark swirl. So it comes out, back in, and up and around. Thin to thick and back to thin. Same thing with down here, except the swirl is going to go backwards. Like so. Okay. Now we're going to do the wings. And you have to you're going to divide this wing into three parts. The first part, you're going to divide this this in half to create the first swoop. Okay? Just like that. You want a nice point at the end. You're going to, the second swoop is going to come around this corner and create the top of the butterfly wing. You're going to come in and pull it in. And this is halfway between here and here, if you notice. So this comes in about halfway between the top of this triangle and down here. And then finally, you're going to do the last part of the the wing and I like to come up a little bit and then back down as I touch the body. It just gives a really pretty little uh, swivel there. A little pretty curl. And then I'm going to start at the bottom here and same thing. I'm going to cut this in half and create the first division of the wing. And then I'm going to come around to the, that corner and bring it all the way to halfway between here and here. And then I'm going to touch these wings up here and I'm going to come away and I'm going to go back just like that. So it makes a separate wing itself and a very pretty wing. And that's basically it. If you want, you can add a couple of quick little lines here. And then, of course, you need antenna. And those are just a couple of swirls that go right over on top of each other. And there you have your quick one minute rainbow butterfly. Now, to turn it into what we do for our parties. It takes a little longer. We're going to just do some highlighting. So we're going to get our white, load our brush. We're going to drag it along the corner of our, or, or along the lid of the pot side. 
and make a nice flat side to our brush. And we're just going to come up on our tip and we're going to outline the inside of each of these wing parts. So that's the first thing that we do for our outlining. We also outline the inside of this guy down here and the inside of this swirl. You're way up on your tip of your brush for this. There's no thin to thick on this out highlighting. And I highlight the inside of the antenna. And then the last pretty part we do is we add some dots back here. So really load up your brush for dots. Put the big one in the middle, kind of medium ones, and then a small one, medium ones, and then a small one. And that just adds a little pretty extra thing to your butterfly for parties.